Hey Jason, how's it going, brother? Um, hey everybody that uh, took your time to watch this. This is Daily Motivation. 365 days of consistency. Doing the same things over and over again until they become habit. And I appreciate you taking your time to watch this, either now or later. Like the great Jay-Z said, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate it. So today I want to drop a quick short message of from a book I read from Neil Donald Walsh. It's, it's an amazing book um, called Conversations with God. It's a Conversation with God series. They have three or four books uh, from that series. Very, very insightful, uh, very impactful, and I believe um, the foreign truth of what's happening around us and what's going on now. And so I want to talk about being the light. He tells a story about a soul, about all souls, really. And this is a story about our soul. And one of the souls came to God and said, God, I want to come down into earth and manifest myself. And God said, why do you want to go to earth and manifest yourself? He says, I want to express who I am. And God asked him, who are you? He said, I'm the light. He said, you're the light. And she said, yes, I want to express myself as the light on earth. And so God says, well, you know, in order for you to, hey, Marilyn, hey, Greg, hey, Leanna, God said, in order for you to express yourself as the light, you have to surround yourself by darkness. Because the only way to express yourself, you have to be exposed to the opposite. Because up in heaven or wherever the and the metaphysical dimensions are, he said, everything's the light. So in order for you to express yourself as the light here on earth, you have to be surrounded by darkness. You have to be surrounded by darkness. And the little light said, I understand, and manifest itself. And I believe in our hearts and our souls that we are all the light. But what happens is we forget that we're the light. And the fact that we forget that we're the light, we start letting the darkness influence us, make us move, make us change who we really are. But when we are the light, we're okay with the darkness because we're meant to shine out of it. If there was no darkness on this planet, you could not be the light. You could not express yourself as the light. So many of us are representing the dark. We're blacking things out. We're not showing anything. We're saying that, hey, this is for representation of things happening in our world. But the best way to solve all the problems of darkness is by being the light, being the example, not worrying about the world. Because there's only, if you ever read Napoleon Hill's work, there's only two things that we are in control of. That's our mind, the way we think, and our actions. So in order, so you cannot control the outside circumstances, but you can control the way you think, what you say, and what you do. And if you express those three things as the light, one, you will see many things manifest in your own life. And also, you'll be able to make change in this world. There is no one that was able to make change via darkness. Anyone that ever made positive change in the world, Gandhi, Muhammad, the Bra uh, Buddha, Christ, they did it by being the light. They didn't do it by letting darkness dictate their actions or dictate their thinking are dictating their words. Rather, they made the world fall and submit to their words, their thinking, and their actions. So if you're seeing things around, like just the other day, my wife and I went to a temple and we meditated with a group of individuals and the meditation was to shed the light, your inner light, out into the world. I think that's the most powerful thing you can do at any point in time. 
and share your light out into the world. Versus allowing the darkness to dictate what you do, how you think, and what you say, what you focus on. Focus on being the light, being the source. Hey Dom, how's it going brother? Focus on being that source of light. So when people are in darkness and they're looking for help, let it be you. Instead of being a follower, be a leader. Be the light that people can come to in their time of need, in their trouble. Because there's many things happening that's distracting us from our true successes. So I maintain the subject of success. I maintain the subject of positivity. And I maintain the subject of being the light. Why? Because I don't let the darkness dictate what I think, what I say, and what I do, and what I focus on. I let the inner light of me do that. And in turn, people come to me, luckily, hopefully, humbly, for the light. So I ask you this favor this week. Versus following the trends of talking about, thinking about, Focusing on the dark. Be the person that comes with resolutions, solutions, and be the light. Again, this is Rich Fontaine. Either you could agree with me or not agree with me. But either way, I feel this was a successful conversation. Love is love. I appreciate all of you. Have a blessed day. Namaste.